teen discovers he's been a missing person for 13 years after applying for college. 13 years have passed since Julian Hernandez was taken away from his mother in Alabama. In the fall, 18-year-old Julian Hernandez did what most high school graduates do after a nice summer vacation full of partying. He filled out a college application and submitted it, but there was small problem, actually it was a rather huge problem. His social security didn't match his name. Was it a mix-up? No. It turns out that everything he believed to be true about himself was nothing more than a 13-year lie. In less than no time, he learned that he was a completely different person and an abductee from Alabama named Julian. But for the life of him, he couldn't remember the little boy that had vanished from his home all those years ago. It happened in 202, when his mother reported the five-year-old missing, but every attempt to find the child failed. The case made headline news after the missing boy was discovered alive and well. It appeared that Julian had been abducted by his dad, Bobby, during a custody dispute, but he apparently drained his bank accounts and left no traces of himself. So it was impossible to find him as he'd gone off the radar. The baffling story unfolded when 18-year-old Julian applied for college. During the application process, Julian learned that his social security number didn't match his name. So he spoke with an advisor who went on to help him figure out what had happened. Julian's mother always suspected that his father, Bobby Hernandez, was responsible. She was convinced that he had taken part in her son's non-custodial parental abduction, but Bobby had vanished as well. This led authorities to discover the whereabouts of Julian's dad, Bobby Hernandez. In an Ohio courtroom, Julian told Judge Cassandra Collier-Williams that he didn't believe that his dad deserved to go to jail, which caused Bobby to break down in tears. Julian had been missing for years, but his college advisor had blown the lid on a family secret. When she tried to figure out the mystery between Julian and his non-matching social security number, she discovered that he was listed as missing by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Now 53, Bobby Hernandez apologized for his radical actions. He broke down as he tried to explain why he took his son. He described Julian as, the most important person in my life. Bobby Hernandez had been working at a factory in Cleveland when he was arrested. Eventually, he pleaded guilty to charges that included kidnapping, interference of custody, tampering with records, and of course, forgery. For years, Julian had grown up in this house not knowing the truth. Meanwhile, his mother had been worried sick, not knowing whether he was dead or alive. She described the experience as scary for any mother to go through. Julian's mom had renderings made of her son so people would recognize him. The age progression didn't help her find her son, but she still managed to get him back. Now she hopes that her story will serve as a reminder to other parents who are searching for their missing children to never give up hope. Though Julian would have had every right to be upset, he wasn't. He pleaded with the court not to throw his dad in jail despite the fact that Bobby had kept him from his biological mom for over 10 years. This was the family home that Julian and his dad Bobby lived in back in Cleveland, Ohio. They were living with a woman and two other children, though it's unclear what relation they have to Bobby or Julian. During Bobby's sentencing hearing in an Ohio court on April 13, 16, Julian stood up for his dad. It didn't seem to affect Julian that his dad, who was supposed to drop him off at preschool on August 28, 2002 wound up taking him and changing his family name to Mangina. On April 13, 2016, attorney Gloria Allred read statements from Julian's mom and grandmother. The mom had explained that the moment Julian went missing was the worst day of her life, while his grandmother said that she hoped that Bobby's suffering was as long as theirs had been. LL baffled by how Bobby managed to create new identities. To date, details about Bobby's life with Julian have been kept under wraps, but many people would like to know how he acquired new social security numbers for himself and his son. Julian's mother is just grateful that her son is alive and well. A representative for her side of the family said that everyone was overjoyed to learn that Julian was safe and thanked everyone who had kept their hopes up and shown them so much support over the years. Julian has a tough road ahead as he tries to rediscover his own identity. Fortunately, his mother's side of the family isn't pushing him in any way. They actually applaud him for his efforts to learn who he is after living a 13-year lie. Bobby Hernandez's attorney, Ralph DeFranco said that Bobby hasn't spoken to his dad since. That's because the judge issues a no-contact order, but he wanted the court to know that his client was a model father to his son, who grew up to become a straight-A student and an athlete. Officials will eventually extradite Bobby back to Alabama to face additional charges.
Bobby doesn't just have to deal with the charges in Ohio, but also has to face charges that include interfering with custody, which is a felony that carries imprisonment of up to 10 years back in Alabama. Frantic attempts to bring the boy home had failed. While missing posters like this went up, Bobby was already living with Julian under an assumed name, 700 miles away from his former home. In court, Julian's grandmother described Bobby Hernandez as a proverbial monster. She claims that he was angry, controlling and a vengeful person. She also stated that Bobby kidnapped him because he wanted to get even with Julian's mother for leaving him, this is not the sign of a good father. Julian's relatives from his mother's side have spent years worried sick over the missing boy. But after so many years, Julian finally visited his mother and her family in Alabama last Thanksgiving and at Christmas, giving them quite possibly, the best holiday season in a long time. It's clear that Bobby's actions were wrong, but he didn't exactly hurt the boy. He clothed him, fed him, and made sure he had a good education. His biggest crime was that he kept Julian from his mother for so many years. Lieutenant Johnny Evans of the Vestavia Hills Police stated that Bobby's problems are far from over. Authorities will likely meet with Julian's relatives to determine whether they want to press charges for interfering with custody. Meanwhile, the Ohio judge Collier Williams brought down a lighter sentence than expected. Bobby now has to serve four years in prison, followed by five years of supervised release. But given the possibility of facing more charges in Alabama, it remains unclear if or when he'll be able to speak with his son, Julian.